Hey everyone, this is Paul here with Member Press, and in today's video, we're going to go ahead and cover how to uh, upgrade your Authorize.net integration to use the newer webhook and uh, signature key um, integration instead of using the old silent post and MD5 hash value. Uh, Authorize.net has recently sent out an email saying that by uh, February 1st, 2019, um, they're going to remove, they're not going to kill anything. So your, your integration will continue to work for another three to four months, but they're getting rid of this right here, MD5 hash. You will no longer uh, be able to find this field as of uh, February 1st, I believe, uh, 2019. So uh, as a as a workaround to this, we have updated our integration to use the new webhooks URLs, which also uh, require a signature key. So in today's video, we're going to show how to convert from the older silent post and MD5 hash values. And uh, instead, we're going to use the webhook URL and the signature key now. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to authorize.net and we want to wipe out these two values. Um, and again, if, uh, if they've removed the ability to do this one, it's fine. Um, but we will want to wipe out the silent post URL uh, as we're going to start relying on the webhooks instead. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the silent post URL option right here. So I'm going to click on that and uh, we're going to just uh, highlight all this and delete it. So they'll leave this field totally empty and we'll go ahead and click submit. Okay, and now we'll go back and we're going to go to the MD5 hash value. Again, you only need to do this if this um, option still exists, but as of uh, February 1st, this is no longer going to be there. So if it's not there, don't worry about it. If it is there, go ahead and click on it and just put in something fake here. And I think they do have to match those. So let me just copy that. So just put in some kind of garbage here. Um, it doesn't have to be uh anything uh special and i'm gonna go ahead and click submit it says it was updated successfully so we have now officially gotten rid of the old integration that used the silent post url and the md5 hash that's gone we don't need to worry about that anymore so the next thing we want to do is come over here and um, we need to go generate a signature key to use for this integration and we're going to copy uh, the webhook URL um, so that we can start receiving notifications uh, about completed, failed, refunded, canceled, whatever, uh, subscriptions and payments uh, information that Authorize.net sends back to MemberPress. So again, we got rid of these two. Whoops, we got rid of the silent post URL and the MD5 hash value, and we'll actually be removing these fields completely in a future uh, version of our integration. But for now, uh, we'll leave them here for those who are uh, still using them and may need these values for some reason. Um, so we're going to go ahead and generate a new signature key now, and we're going to update our webhook URL. So let's first go do the signature key. So we're going to come here to the authorize.net. We're going to click on their account tab at the top right. And then we're going to come down here under security settings and we're going to choose API credentials and keys. Now, if you're converting from the older method to the newer method, you should already have this login name and transaction key filled out. If not, you can copy the login name here. This is API login ID. And uh, you can also generate a new transaction key by checking this box here. Uh, we have another video that shows how to go through the whole setup. Um, so, but you should, if you're updating from the older to the newer, you should already have this copied and you should have a transaction key. So for now, we're going to generate a new signature key and we're going to just uh, update our security answer here. And you can disable your old signature key if you have one. I'm not going to check that for now. So go ahead and update that. And we want to copy... I don't know why they show this extra line right here, but we want to copy from that first character, which in this case is a five, all the way down to that last character. We're going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it right here 
in this signature key field. Okay, so we've copied from authorize.net our login name, our transaction key, and our signature key. And now we need to copy from MemberPress this webhook URL. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to go back. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to click continue. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom here where it says webhooks. We're going to click uh, that. We're going to click add endpoint. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the member press webhook. And we'll paste in this webhook URL right here. And it's important that we get the webhook URL, not the silent post URL. We want the webhooks. So we're going to click this top copy to clipboard option here. We came here, we pasted it into this endpoint URL. We want to make sure our status is active and we're going to send for all events and save. Okay, so a quick recap. We got rid of our silent post URL. We put in a fake value for the MD5 hash, which you may or may not be able to do after February 1st, and that's okay if it's not here. Um, and then we uh, we went and generated a new signature key here and we pasted that into our signature key box and then we copied this webhook URL from MemberPress right here and we pasted it into uh, a new webhook here which is active we gave it a title of Member, MemberPress webhook and uh, that's it that's all we need to do now, the last thing you're going to want to do after making these changes is run a test. Please run a test to make sure everything is working uh, so you don't end up with, uh, you know, a week from now and you've got 100 customers whose payments didn't end up tracking. So uh, I would test both a recurring subscription and a one-time payment and uh, make sure those work uh, as expected. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update Options here in the Member Press Settings so that it gets these new values, this, the new signature key that we pasted in here. And that's it. We are done upgrading from the old silent post and MD5 hash values to the newer webhook URL and signature key values. Um, and if you run into any questions or have any troubles getting this updated, please reach out to our support team and let us know. This change took place in member press. Let's see here. This is... Where did it go? Member press. Oh, here it is. This change took place in 1.3.51 will be our next release. So 1.3.50 will use the older uh, silent post MD5 hash values. 1.3.51 will be our next release, which will um, have this newer signature key and webhook data. So you will want to make sure you're at version 1.3.51 before you make these changes. And uh, that's it. And again, if you have any other questions, please reach out to our support and we are happy to help.